Hi, so this is Liv Far in the Future. I never really filmed a proper intro for this video, so hi. Welcome to this week's video. I'm just gonna take you through a little bit of a week in my life as I'm working on some cool paintings and some business stuff. I take some new product photos and like promotional stuff for my business. It's a chill, quick little vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Next week is the beginning of the final series and you're gonna see all the crazy work I'm working on. The This came like right before all the finals were really pressured on. So this is a nice little reprise before all of that. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment. It would mean the world. Hi friends. It's been a while since I've done a voiceover chatting with you guys while painting. I did these a lot in previous artist diaries and I want to get back into it, but I've had this painting sitting on my floor for quite a bit. I really liked the idea behind it and I really loved the colors, but I think it was lacking a lot of contrast, which I think is very evident in this first stage of it. I always struggle trying to decide whether or not a painting is done or not. I've done this in the past where I've d like thought maybe it's not done or it needs another layer and sometimes I really really regret it and miss what was there before and I think that's a lesson within there of just kind of believing and just different stages and colors and shades of your life and how things change. I don't know maybe that's too deep but <laughs> I do really believe that but this painting I definitely think needed more work and I think it's really interesting what came out of this it's definitely like quite different from what I do really typically it's a little more realistic a little more sur surrealistic in terms of it's a landscape you can tell it's supposed to be like some sort of realistic thing except that it is very surreal with the use of color and shape and brushwork and I don't know it's really fun it's really different and out of my comfort zone and not something I typically do, but it was a really fun little exercise and little experiment. And overall, I do really think, I do really like the way that the painting changed and I'm glad I went in and did some more work on it. sick so I haven't really vlogged much or like talked much to the camera but I'm about to stream in like an hour or so but I wanted to do a little bit of painting I'm probably gonna be doing some painting on stream but I just wanted to warm up and I wanted to work on this beautiful painting I started that painting on stream and I have a little bit of work to do on it I just need to work on the hills and just kind of like help those values a bit but it's looking so good and I'm so excited to get some work on it done on it because it's really close to being done and I haven't had the chance to work on it in a bit so let's go and now we're working on another painting. This is kind of a part of my landscape series. If you've been watching my videos or seeing my art on other platforms, you'll know I've been doing a landscape series for kind of the past year and a half of different places in the Adirondacks because that's where I live for parts of the year. <laughs> and this is actually not in the Adirondacks if it's not kind of evident. This is a cityscape, technically. Um, this is in Los Angeles. It's a friend, a picture my beautiful friend Midnight took so shout out to midnight um a link their photography in the description but yeah they take amazing photos and this is my first time painting a landscape really in this series in this time of my life um that's not from upstate new york which is really interesting but it was really fun and it challenged me and the colors were different and the vibe was different and it was really fun this was my second pass and my second like kind of layering of this piece and i definitely think i want to go in one more time to kind of really help out the contrast there needs to be a little more light and also kind of enunciate the cityscape a little bit better but it was super fun to work with and I really love the sky it's so beautiful it doesn't fully show up correctly on here but it's a really fun painting I love the size of it it's just such good vibes I really love it
and now for some business work. I obviously, if you guys don't know, I run a business. I've been running a business for pretty much four years, more seriously for the past like year and a half, two years. And uh, obviously a lot of that goes into running a business. Maybe this isn't obvious, but a lot that goes into running a business is marketing and specifically Instagram and specifically short term, short form content, short form video content, especially. And I feel like I finally like kind of figured out and cracked the code and kind of found the balance within myself of how to do this effectively and how to do this in a way it bring, in which it brings me joy. I used to have the mentality of like, oh, like Instagram's changed so much and like, I don't want to have to do this and yada, yada, yada. And I was really negative about it. And I do think it is fair to be upset about the way Instagram has changed, but also in order to run a business you have to be adaptable and you have to kind of figure out ways to run your business and to build your business in ways that feels good to you but also that like will bring you success so it's been a really interesting balance and it's something I really love doing now and it's just something I'm kind of adapting to so here I'm just filming and taking pictures of my prints because I'm planning to run a sale probably by the time this video will be up there will be a 20% off sale on prints so you should go check out my Etsy but yeah I absolutely love running a business it's been such a huge part of my life I consider like YouTube and Twitch and all of that to kind of be entrepreneurial pursuits as well and it just fulfills me so much and it's such a nice compliment to my schoolwork my classwork because obviously like these are traits and things I'm gonna have to continue outside of school and things that will really help me within my design work as well speaking of which finals are coming up so the next episode will be the next few episodes will be me kind of working on finals and really going through that because it has been a journey. So stay tuned.